So this vlog is going to be about how I spent 24 hours of my precious life without using a cell phone. If you haven't been following me on Instagram, let me tell you, a couple of months back I fell down from the stairs of my own place in which I happened to hurt myself a little bit but I happened to hurt my phone in this manner. It literally dropped from 4th floor to 2nd floor. So today I'm heading towards Kalimbong town to get my phone repaired. Now many of you folks might wonder why am I repairing a phone that dates back to around 3000 BC, right? The actual reason for that is I have been saving some cash to buy something more important than a cell phone. Yes, you'll come to know that eventually, not in a couple of months, but probably that's gonna take us a year or so. Yes, that is the exact reason why I'm using such a beaten up cell phone. Because I'm saving my cash for something else which is way more important than a cell phone, at least in my case. So today I'm gonna be giving my phone for repair and today I'm not gonna be able to use my phone anyway because it's gonna be freshly glued, the entire screen is gonna be freshly glued. So, at least for 8 to 10 hours I won't be able to use my cell phone so I just thought to make it a bit more interesting by doing this challenge of hashtag no phone challenge. That's right, I'm not gonna be using my cell phone for 24 hours straight. And once I hand over my phone for repair, the challenge automatically starts. Not just that, I'm gonna be taking you folks to a very special place as well. So as you can see it's 2 to 2 12 pm to be precise and right now I am in Balaji which is beside of Surabhi Enterprises Kalimpong which is in the heart of Kalimpong that is Dombochok and the guy who will be repairing my phone will be Dada we can give Nishan Gupta Nishan Gupta okay, okay okay another Nishan Gupta I have a friend Nishan Gupta a very good singer from the hills but here he is he's going to repair my phone and Ajune pa Ajune my dear one and a half hour. After one and a half hours. Oh but I won't be able to use my yes, phone. Yes, because it takes time to for fixing it. Okay. So you see, that is how this vlog is going to play out. And now after this, I'll be heading towards East Main Road, where I'll be taking you folks to a place that I've never been before. <laughs> so at first, a couple of people were supposed to join us for this ride or for this hike or whatever you want to call it but then at last it seems it's gonna be just me and Aspita who's gonna be doing this trail. Trail? I I don't know bro. <laughs> Can you see tiny bits of paper out there? That's basically houses in Kalimbong town and right now I am somewhere below East Main Road. What is the exact name? Wait, okay, just forget it then. Well, she is taking me for a walk out here. We are going for a proper hike, right? Yeah. This trail is gonna be off around half an hour. Yeah. And we have already walked around what, 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, you can see that we are enjoying our moment right now. And the people who are here with us, basically you and me, uh, she's here and well, her little brother is there. Her little brother? Yeah. Little brother is not so little anymore. Yeah. Right. I need it. 
when I'm walking this way, I feel like I'm in my own hometown. Basically, I'm from Kalimpong, but my actual hometown is in Jinglam, which is near Tista Valley. For the folks who have been connected to me since a very long time, they know this. But for the new ones, it's near Tista Valley, and it's a tea estate. So what happens out there is roads like this exist out there, all broken, patched, broken, patchy, and whatever you want to call it. Roads of that kind exist out there. And when I'm walking this way right now, I feel like I'm in Jinglam right now. And I was just telling Ashmita and her brother that there's a place called Pulami where dead bodies are cremated in Jinglam. And as kids, we were advised never to go out there because. Bakra, Ambo, we used to have so many goats in a thing. Oh, we still have so many goats out there in Jinglam. Bakra, the Bakra. No, I was actually talking something, but then this thing did man, right? What was I telling, by the way? Oh yeah, we were we were told we were advised not to visit there, but out of curiosity, you know how kids are. We used to run away to that place, and you know we used to just have fun. Beautiful place. If possible, uh, this year I don't think it's gonna be possible. Next year maybe I'm gonna take you folks out there. So stay tuned. Just look at the place, brothers. Just look at the place. Isn't it beautiful? I know it is, right? What happened? Oh. And when the cool breeze hits your face, that time you are gonna realize you are in paradise. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our beautiful hometown of Kalimpong. Wow, this is the first time that I came out here, and right now I'm just speechless. It's so damn beautiful. I really wish I had a drone. I could have captured such a beautiful moment out here. But nevertheless, I'm gonna record with whatever I have right now, and sooner or later, drone will be a reality. So come, let's enjoy the cinematic shots and a beautiful time lapse. So she out here is telling we need to go somewhere. Wow, that's beautiful, right? After walking for around half an hour, and most importantly, after reaching a place as beautiful as this, you're gonna realize that everything was actually worth it. Just wow! I know most of you folks who are from Kalimpong have been to Pujadara, have been to Badarevir, but this place, this portion of Kalimpong, is so untouched. Just check this out. Can you hear the wind? I swear to God, when I get a drone for myself. This is gonna be one of the first places I'm gonna shoot a very nice vlog about. Oh, yeah. Then you can see everything. Wow! <laughs> Isn't the Kalimpong gorgeous? <laughs> My voice is getting echo, echo or echo, whatever you wanna call it. I know it's echo, but that's river really probably the stream that you can see out there. The clouds look like cotton candies. The hills, the landscape. Just look at the landscape. Wow. 
look at that side and look at the greenery out here folks look at the greenery it's so green It's almost 4 o'clock in the evening and well, 4 o'clock was the time I was supposed to go back to Kalimbong town and receive my cell phone. But it's gonna take around half an hour of walk from here to the place where I've parked my motorcycle and then another 5 to 10 minutes to reach Kalimbong town and then I'll be gone home. But what a beautiful place. It's really amazing. It's an amazing feeling to be out here. And for the folks who have never been here, this is below Pujadara Kalimpong. I know Pujadara Kamuni, right? Mm. And the sun, and the rays of the sun are directly hitting my eyes, so I'm just gonna do this for a change. Apart from creating memories in this beautiful place, what I've done here is I've clicked some really good pictures of myself, and even Ashwita has done the same. So if you don't want to miss out on the pictures, all you need to do is you need to follow us on Instagram. My Instagram handle is out here. Or you can go to my description box and there you'll find the link of my Instagram along with Ashmita's Instagram. So it's around 6.15 in the evening. And as you can see, I got my phone back today itself. Thanks to Nishanda. Okay. Thank you <laughs> so much. Very. Normally what happens is if you give a phone for repair, you get only the next day, right? The next day. Yeah. Yes. But this guy actually gave me the phone today itself. But I'm not supposed to use it at least this entire night but as I am doing a new phone challenge for 24 hours I won't be using this until 2.12 pm tomorrow and the most important thing what he actually wanted me to tell you folks was this this is by no means an original display of Lenovo K8 this is a first copy eh? first copy or you can say a market market product this is a market product so you don't get any warranty, you don't get any guarantee on this thing. And the most important thing is, unlike the original products, you can't be using your cell phone 24-7. So you can use it, but uh, you can use it, there is no problem in it. But the continuous place of the touch screen and the display yeah. makes, uh, makes the screen blank, makes the screen blank also. And if you fail this, fail your phone from your hand, you know, yeah. it's a market product and it will get broken. Doesn't it? It's not. And first of all, this is your phone was Lenovo. Yeah. And your phone got fell from second floor. But fourth, also fourth floor to second floor. Fourth floor to second floor. Yeah. Right. And plus your phone was bent also. Yeah. It's it still bent a bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's little bent, but I made my hundred and one percent to make it correct, make it fine. So. So, yeah. so there is transparency in, in my business that I'll tell. There's no warranty, no guarantee, and I charge one. 50 rupees for the fitting charge, that's it. And, charge, okay. and, and the temper, price of this temper, is? This one is one, uh, 1,700. 1,700, yeah. And 150 for the fitting charge and 50 rupees for the, for the transportation. transportation. Yes. So and uh, you get a complimentary tempered glass after yes. one day or <laughs> okay. whenever you come to the market. <laughs> yeah. And you get all the mobile accessory goods at? Best price. Very reasonable price. So, if you want to buy anything related to mobile phones or even memory cards, anything related to mobile accessories, pen drive, you can always contact him. Okay. You'll get the best price. Just tell him that you are a subscriber of your brother, the vlogger from the Hills Premium Guru. Okay? Thank you. Okay, da. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Thanks a lot. Namaste, This is the new pattern. <laughs> this is the new normal. <laughs> this is the new normal, yes, right. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm already late. It's almost 6 20 in the evening. I'm just gonna go home and I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna stay in my mom's store once again. And I'll see you folks really tomorrow. So good night. So it's around 11 30 a.m. in the morning. This is the second day. Wow. Almost 21 and a half hours are gone. Just like that. No, actually, I had certain problems. I couldn't call my girlfriend. Even after reaching home safely, I couldn't call her. So that was the issue. But nevertheless, the countdown has begun. It's just two and a half hours left now. And today morning, after waking up, what did I do is... 
first of all I woke up at 5 30 in the morning I went for a walk came back at around 6 30 and then started my cardio at around 8 o'clock not 8 o'clock basically it was around 8 30 when I started my cardio and by the time I was done with my cardio it was around 9 40 then I needed to wash some clothes of mine I needed to take a shower I did that and since then since 10 o'clock in the morning I have been taking care of my mom's store properly and last night I was actually watching a movie called Escape Plan and what happened was I happened to sleep midway I couldn't even watch half of the movie so what I did was I just came to the store and then I just opened my laptop and I started watching the movie and I'm just done with the movie right now and after getting done with the movie I'm talking to you folks yeah no I don't even have a movie to watch so things are gonna get a bit boring right now what Let's just hope for the best. After lunch, I'm planning to head towards Delu or Burmik. I'm not pretty sure about the location. I'm not even sure whether I'll be going there or not because yesterday, it was just yesterday when I went out and, and I spent a good amount of time outdoors. So I'm not pretty sure whether I'll be heading out or not today. But if I go towards that place, then I'm going to take you folks. But that's going to be in a totally different vlog because this vlog is going to be just about me spending my 24 hours without a cell phone yeah so I'll see you folks after an hour or so maybe maybe not so my dear cousin Adam James is playing Candy Crush right now and I have my cell phone in my hand so it's exactly 2 12 p.m. on the 28th of September 2020 exactly 24 hours earlier was the time I gave my phone for repair and I switched off my cell phone and although I got my phone back yesterday but I haven't even but I haven't been using my cell phone because I wanted to complete this hashtag no phone challenge. So I don't want to nominate any one of you, but I want you folks to nominate yourselves. Let's see how many people can complete this no phone challenge. And if you complete this no phone challenge, don't forget to mention that on your Instagram post or your Instagram story with hashtag no phone challenge and please do tag me as well. So this was entirely about my today's vlog where, not today, it was basically yesterday and today's vlog where I took you folks on a ride to East Main Road and then we went to the lower side of Pujadara. we explored a bit we had fun basically and then today morning you know the busy schedule of staying at store doing nothing basically and now the last but not the least let us switch on my cell phone so for the reference just to prove my point that I haven't been using my cell phone I'll attach a, a screenshot of Facebook Messenger which was taken by Ashmita just to prove that I haven't been using my phone and Instagram screenshot out here finally bro finally so 2 12 p.m. was the time when I started to switch on my cell phone and what's the time right now it's still not on yet properly the Lenovo thing is doing like this like this it's 2 15 p.m. that's right my phone takes three minutes just to switch on so thank you so much for making me a part of your day. Until next time, this is your brother, the vlogger from the hills, Priyam Gurung, and I will see you very, very soon. Till then, take care, bye-bye, and cheers to life. Thank you so much. And by the way, I'm planning to do another challenge where I'll be surviving an entire week, not without the cell phone this time, and an entire week without internet. That is, if I get 100,000 views on this video and 10,000 likes and above. So what are you waiting for? Just go share it with your friends, tell your friends to share this video. And hopefully if we get that 100,000 views and 10,000 likes, then not hopefully, we'll definitely cross our first 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you so much to my 8,800 something subscribers who have supported me till now. Bye bye. Ciao. So this time I'm heading towards Kalimbong town to get my phone repaired. Many of you folks might even ask me why am I trying to repair a phone that existed in the times of Julius Caesar and in Antonio, what was his name?